Hey guys, thanks for stopping back to Pete's Garage. Now, I got the Studebaker back because it's been a few hundred miles. I think it's got about 500 miles on it now. And I want to do some checks after it's been driven for a few hundred miles. Now, I put chrome molly rings in this engine and those rings take around a thousand miles to seat. But um, I'm still going to check my cylinder pressure while I have it here. And if you recall, I had to grind or re-machine the rocker arms that were they rest on the valves. So I'm going to check the lash, make sure the lash is okay. And in case there was some something that took a seat, I want to make sure that those are okay. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to check the um, carburetor, make sure that everything's still adjusted right. So let's start. Uh, we'll we'll just take it apart and get to work. I'll start by marking my spark plug wires. So I can put them back in the original spot. Makes it easy to do. And I'll take my spark plug out. Now the valve covers. Now I'm going to do a couple things here. I'm going to turn the engine over to get pressure. I'll let it rotate a couple times. And then I want to stop it when the intake and exhaust valves are completely closed. Okay, so this is how the numbers shake out. Again, if you remember, my initial test before when I took the engine out of the car, I tested 1357-2468, and these were the cylinder pressures cold, 70, 55, 75, 75, 75, 65, 70, 70. So the, the uh, right bank was a little bit lower than the left bank due to some compression reason. Now, I just checked them again. I used the same gauge, the same gauge, and ran it cold, and these are what the numbers came out to be. The 70 went up to 150, so we had 150, 150, 149, 150, and on this side, 140, 146, 147, 148. So the right bank is still a little lower than the left bank, and that's probably because they're probably just cut differently. The block could be cut just a little bit lower, a little more compression on the side, but the numbers jumped up incredibly. So we know the rings were worn, the cylinders were out around, and this was losing a lot of power because the pressure was way, way down. Check the lash with my feeler gauge, and it fits nice and snug. So, got the right clearance on that one. Got to do all 16 that way. Alright, we put it back together. Put my valve covers in, put my valve covers on, and my spark plugs, and then my wires. Okay, all together, should fire right up. Perfect. Let's go for a ride. Alright, I'm going to get on the road and on the floor and we'll see what happens. It's got a two-speed transmission. So, at... Uh, 55 miles an hour, it's going about 1600 RPM. And it drives beautiful. Sixty miles an hour, I'm cruising about uh, 1700 RPM, right in the torque range. And it, and it drives, drives very, very nice. Car rides and drives like a dream. Runs awesome. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.